I am excited. We're going into space. So we're gonna see what it's all about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we are back in Astroneer. So if you missed it, you can still check it out on my channel. I did some multiplayer gameplay. Now this is where the first two episodes and the multiplayer episode were all filmed on this planet. You can see that we got relatively far in expanding the base, but the base is all kinds of clustery right now. And in the previous episodes, I kind of missed a few details. Now, for those of you who are not aware, I do have some mad ADHD. And sometimes I uh, don't read everything. However, now that I would say I'm a decent veteran of the game, I'm going to go ahead and do a fresh start on a different planet. Because this one has so much built up. Like, we also made derp towers. And by the way, you can get out of a storm by getting on top of one of these, or basically building up to avoid the storm. Or you could build down, which we found out. We had a lot of fun. I played with three of my friends. If you'd like to see some multiplayer gameplay, there will be. Uh, you can check out my channel. I'm going to try to remember to put a link in the video description. But we are going to be restarting in Astroneer. And we're gonna be doing it right. And I and I wanna have like a more organized base than I have right now. It's very clustery, in my opinion. Alright, Operation Fresh Start is a go. We're gonna grab the orange Astroneer, and we are going to fall from orbit to I believe a now here's the thing. Are these all different saves? Or like in new planets or what? Ooh, this is actually a pretty decent start. Now, I didn't see any crashed ships coming in. I mean, I'll probably watch it again to make sure. But look at that. We have touchdown. And now, ooh, we got we got some nice flora and fauna. Some nice, easily accessible research nodes in these trees. You can see them in the top. Um, there's a power well next to us. There's one of these things. I've actually never encountered one of these on my old planet. What is that? There's some kind of a structure over there. It doesn't look man-made. It looks natural. <laughs> Boop. This is really cool. So what is that? We got compound already and some copper ore. I do like that. All right, so might need to be getting back to the pod, get some oxygen. But yeah, I'm going to start over fresh and we're going to get in this episode. We're going to get into the vehicles and some advanced building and crafting. So uh, I'll update you when some cool stuff happens. All right, so the sun is rising on our new base. And I tell you what, I think... What we've got going so far is pretty good. So this is my smeltery. I'm running everything off solar panels right now. Um, I think we need some lithium to make batteries. But I'm really liking the setup we've got. Like I've got lots of storage racks, ample storage racks. We're gonna go ahead and research these two things. Uh, we always get titanium, it seems, from these things. So we've got we've got so much titanium, it's kind of ridiculous. Our smeltery is also doing pretty well. Let's get all of this laterite so we can get our aluminum. We've got a lot of production going. Of aluminum. Now, and we've got malachite for copper ore. I'd say we have a decent amount of everything. So, I'm feeling pretty good about it. But what we really need is we need to speed up. Like, I tell you what, compound, this, this material, is like definitely one of the rarest ones. So, we're going to build a rover. Now, I've got enough materials here, I believe build a rover and a truck but I wanted to start with the rover I know the trucks bigger but I figured it probably need like a better thing of uh, you know a much you know we, we need I feel like we need better power production right now so what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm gonna grab this storage unit and the seat and put it on this truck it looks like we can only put a little bit let's see so I don't Okay, I was gonna say, that's a really wonky seat. So let's see, we don't have a whole lot of power, but there's a lot of wrecks. How's that for storage? Can we... Oh, hello. So I think what we want to do is, I think I have some power that I can store on this thing. Oh, and there's actually a source of power over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna store power on it, like in the uh, material form. Here we go. Here's some. And then we're gonna go explore some wrecks, look for lithium to build a battery, and also just kind of see what other materials we can get. So let's put this. 
I'm assuming that would help. So it's relatively small, the little buggy is right now. We could build a truck, and I could show you that in a moment. Let's see, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Is there anything we wanna take with us? We've got a few tethers, not a whole lot. Man, frames are kind of sluggish. The more you explore the slug, oh yeah, I wanted to research this. Cause I mean, why not, right? But basically, during the night, once I use all my power, I'm pretty much out because I have no excess storage. Oh! This is, that's exactly what I needed, was another thing of lithium. So now I'm gonna go to the 3D printer, and what I like about the 3D printer are just all the production is pretty streamlined. So I can put that here, and then like, oh, if I wanted to build a seat, it would use compound. If I wanted to build a solar panel, storage, Wind turbine, I could get aluminum, actually. That would be pretty good to get some wind turbine. But I wanted to produce a battery first and foremost so that we can start storing power. And then I can build like a solar and wind farm. Yes, all right, so where are we gonna put this? As you can see here, so I've got a generator, but I have no coal, so it's pretty much useless. So I'm gonna just put him there. Now we're gonna start. And this is just a temporary resin storage. Okay, so actually what we could do, we've got a lot of aluminum. What I wanna do is, given the fact that I've got, what, I think I've got eight aluminum lying around, and then I've got these four here, I'm gonna go ahead and build two windmills. All right, so, but first we've got to expand, I think. Let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and boop. Oh, actually, no, do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. I wanted to... Yeah, 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 that's not at all what I want to do, really. I'm gonna... Boop, and then we'll use that... Nope. Did I just... I just put it on my backpack. So we're gonna build a wind farm, guys. And we're gonna go exploring. I'm really freaking excited now. I'm gonna move my resin storage to the end there. Actually, yeah, yeah, because if we expand, we're gonna be going that way, right? And we are going to, we're, here's the battery. We've already got this solar panel, but you can see that nothing's happening. I feel like I've never built a windmill before in this game. I mean, I've never built a battery, like, I've never, and I have built a rover in the multiplayer. I think Argyle. All right, so here we go. Solar panel. Wind turbine, yes! We're gonna build two of these things. Oh, shoot. Hopefully we have the power to do it. If not, that'd be a little anticlimactic, huh? Okay, it's refilling. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got disoriented there. And I'm gonna put my wind turbine here. Now, is it generating? Is it moving? <gasps> Damn! It may not be windy enough to generate, um, in which case, it may be better to use solar panels. I think it is. Oh yeah, since we have this battery, we've got a lot of solar panels, I feel like. But I want to actually have like a proper... Oh, it's it's kind of windy right now. This thing should be generating, right? Both of these should be generating. Are they just not on the right thing? Let's see. If I put it as a side component, like... Is that one running? Why isn't this running? Okay, I think what we're gonna do is put it here. What? Now, why why was it going right there? But not, I mean, hey Baron, that's where the wind is, but that seems weird though, right? Maybe they just don't operate off of that and they actually need to be a side component. It's starting to spin a little bit. It's really windy right there. Maybe it's just where the wind is. Hold on. If we take this solar panel off. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's doing pretty good. All right. Well, I mean, if that's where the wind is, I'm curious, though. And it's generating a lot of power. Do we need another battery? Oh, shit. I guess it... I don't know. You can kind of see the wind, but you can definitely see this thing is cranking it out over here. All right, so I guess, could we also use this solar panel for our vehicle? Can we put it on it anywhere? It doesn't look like it. We don't have the uh, components for it, but it is powered up. 
I mean, so I feel like you can put a battery on a truck and then you'd be pretty good to go. But once the sun comes up, I feel like we're going to be generating a lot more power. I think I want to get a battery. Am I able to? Yeah, like this will be where the batteries go. And then, oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so I'm not going to put him there. I want the wind turbines in the wind farm. This was the goal. I like how even when I'm carrying it, it was spinning. Alright, alright, alright. This is good. This is good stuff. Alright, so now we're going to go explore. I'm going to show you some of the wrecks I've found. I love this game because of the exploration components. Alright, i got to remember which tether line to go off of. I think that it's this tether line. Alright, so we're going to go around this. Oh man, this, I'll tell you what. Rovers are still squirrely. Is it? It's turning dark. Now, is that because there's a storm coming? I'm not sure. Alright, let us go this way. I built a cave here to survive a storm. We had, like, there was a lot of rocks. and I think the good thing is if you're in a vehicle, you can survive storms. Like, uh, the, rock, the flying rocks can't hurt you, which is good. Okay, so here's one of the spaceships. Check this out. Looks like a giant just satellite. And so you can see here is... Uh, yeah, we're, so we're going to get out and explore it. But it looks like we've got a research module here. I don't know why I dug up. Man, frames are wonky. i got to figure this out. What? Are you serious? Can I put it here? Wow, and we're already like 50% done on our battery or on our uh, what would you call it yeah our, our power supply my frames are dropping all of a sudden it just got I might try restarting my computer because uh, this seems weird ain't nobody got time for this bullshit organic I don't want any organic so we're gonna explore around see if there's any materials if there's lithium that would be the best I feel like lithium would be on one of these ships because if there is lithium, look at that, we're also generating power. Now, how does this thing regen power? Maybe, maybe I need to give it my... Is that a storm coming? Man, I've... That is a storm coming. This way. Alright, we're going to get in the uh, rover. I don't think it can blow me over. Oh man, look at the tether line. It's going slack. Oh, look. Are they? Do the tether lines break it? Oh my god, I can't see anything. And there's actually a giant crevice. So we. This is what. The storms always come when I'm recording, and they never really come when I'm not recording. I wonder if you can. If this satellite stops rocks. That'd be really cool. Oh my god, the rocks are pushing us towards the crevice. Hold on. Let's back this baby up. We're actually gonna face the storm, so if we need to. We can just go forward. Look at that. That, that tether looks broken. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. I'm not sure if weather can like. Are we? No, I mean it's not sunny, so we're not regenerating anything. All right, guys. So there's good news and good news. So the good news is that the vehicle seems well. That's not exactly where I try to turn. Maybe it's not. So maybe there's only good news. The good news is we ran into compound, which is one of the materials we wanted to find. So we're going to harvest as much as this. The good thing about compound is you generally find a lot. And man, I swear, every time I'm always like, is that wind? Is a storm coming? There's a storm coming, Ari. And since we're close to the vehicle and it's got a big old solar panel, we're, we're just self-sustaining beasts out here. I, I just spit. I just spit a little bit on accident because when I said beasts, I I guess I actually started to look like an animal with saliva coming out because here I am just salivating over finding compound on this beautiful Martian planet. I'm gonna say it's Martian because hey man, we are, yeah you know what, I want to put, I wish there was a way to like fast put everything on. You know, from... Is there a way to do that? I mean, there very well could be, and I just don't know about it. It's, this appears to be in order. Okay, so we found this compound, and we're just driving away now. How do we find our base? Hold on. Okay, there it is. 
It's got a big home over it, which makes it easy to find. So we are going out into the wastelands. Wastelands? No, this is actually pretty beautiful. We are squirreling around the whole time. Now, I'm not sure if this is just like, is, is everybody else experiencing the same issue with the truck? Like, it, the, pfft. It gets bumped by little rocks, yeah. I would I would imagine. I trust the guys over at Astroneer that they're gonna update this. I mean, they already did one update, like, and now, like, it's so much more vibrant. The home planet. Oh, we found some compound. And a mine shaft. Oh god, please don't flip. I'm look I'm pressing W. We should be moving forward. So they gotta work on their vehicle physics. <laughs> There's just like, I mean, this is early access, so technically I think they're calling this Alpha. Oh my. We are digging into the mine shaft right now. Dude, there's so much compound. This is, this is the way to do it, man. Take out the truck. I would say skip the uh, rover and go straight for the truck. Now, do we, uh, do we have any more compound? A lot of times, if we just dig a little bit. Dude, I love that this thing is just like... Solar paneling it up, man, and recharging. Now, we could drive the truck down in here and explore, but I want to explore the surface. I've spent a lot of time in mines looking for uh, aluminum when I... Oh, my God. Come on, vehicle. Look, I'm pressing forward. See, this vehicle doesn't know where forward is. I think that's the issue. Well, I mean, I know that's the issue. Now, do I have to be stopped for the solar panel to pop out? Or maybe it's just not facing... There we go. I guess you gotta face the right way. Man, this... The vehicle. <laughs> Another mine shaft. Looking for compound wrecks and rare materials. We have enough power, I'm fairly certain. And oxygen. Where we, we can rock it out here. Alright, where, where's the home? Oh god. I may have lost home. I know it's generally in that other area. Ooh, hydrazine? Oh, never mind. There's home. I think I'm, I'm kind of going in a circle. I'm not intending to, but the way this thing drives is, yeah, we already explored that, so we're gonna go this way. But the good, ooh, more compound. All right, so I came back. Look at this. So that is what each one of these is eight. So, I guess we've got like 16, 18, and then all of the compound on me, which looks like another 8. Dude, we are loaded up on compound. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take this storage rack off and put it here. And look at that. We've already got compound. And I can put the compound on my back on it. There we go. A full rack. We can put the other compound over here. And look, we have titanium down there. I don't... Why, why do I have titanium on my person? I didn't even know about that. See, we could have used... Oh, I actually want to make some tethers. A power? What is that? Power cells. I don't need power cells. Or filters. Or a generator. Oh, look at this. We're gonna... Oh, I should probably put a rack here. Yeah. Let's go print one up real quick. Gonna print up a storage unit. Because we've been using a lot of the storage units. And then I think what we could do... Do I have any on my... Yeah, I do. Print up another one. Put that there. Hit the hit the power button here. We're gonna gonna convert all of this, and then eventually we need to move that uh, solar panel. Look at that copper and aluminum for days. I think it, it might be getting time for a spaceship. Actually, let's go ahead and build it, because I mean the goal here is to build a spaceship, a shuttle. We're going to build a shuttle. Now we do need to, oh, is it getting, every time it gets windy, I'm like, we're gonna die. Rocks are gonna be flying from space. I'm currently recording way, way late. Oh, I need tetrazine. Tetrazine, hydrazine, I believe it's actually called. 
Now we can get that in the mines of Moria. All right, so right now we're gonna be filling this baby up with hydrazine. So we put in, is that four already? Jeez, man, this thing chugs it. Five, six, seven. Oh wait, and it stayed there. Okay, so it used about seven. Now, I think what we wanna do is definitely, oh, and we can put another one over here. Dude, we're gonna, we're gonna maximize this thing. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna build a seat. Go ahead and, where's the, oh, we need one more compound there, right? Okay, we can do that. We'll take this compound here, put it over yonder, produce that, and then get the seat from there, because we want to keep the truck functional. We found a couple seats that we probably could have gone out and bought them. Not bought them, <laughs> retrieved them. But dude, this thing is going to be just packed. I think, can I get in that? Oh my god, I can. Hold on. Oh, that's how we get into space, guys. We are going to get into space this episode. Hell yeah. That was my goal. All right, so I think I want... Oh, we wanted to research this real quick. Why not? Research for science. Now, we could have built um, a special pod, like a, a proper one, but I'm pretty sure at least now you can just uh, use the seat to get into space. So that's what we're going to do, which is funny. Because normally... Ooh. Yeah, lithium. Definitely gonna keep that with me. Actually, I wanted to. I wanted to. Power cells. I know one of these uses lithium. A battery. Now, does that. Does that mean, like, do I have to put this power in it? Oh, yes. Now, can I put the battery there? Yes. Look at that. So now we have extra power. That's great. Oh, it's using from that interestingly enough tethers a tank i guess titanium would be let's build that now is that extra oxygen that could always be nice yes it is extra oxygen perfect okay okay we could technically have a thing full of these right now what else is there power cells what is that oh it needs compound for that do we have any compound? No, we got some organic. Anyway, that's not really what we're trying to do right now. Although I got plenty distracted. Having a full rack of compound would really be nice to take to the other planet and resin as well. And then I think we've got pretty much all the materials we need to go into space, right? Let's see, is that an empty rack? We, a, a rack of fuel would also be nice, right? Then we could probably explore all of the planets in one. Hmm, thank you for that. Dude, yeah. All right, so we got compound. Now we need, we got compound and we got fuel. Now we're gonna make a mixed one of like, what is this? Two aluminum, two copper. That seems pretty good. Um, let's see, what else would be nice? Some resin, definitely some resin. And then we're gonna fill up my backpack and we are going into space. All right guys, so if you look at this thing, we've got three storage units full, we've got compound, we've got a crap ton of fuel. I don't even know if I really need this much fuel, but it's like if we encounter a planet we may not like, we're, we're gonna, you know, take off. That's the, the thought. We've got a lot of compound as it's one of the, well, not a lot. We've got eight compound, not a crazy amount, but this should be enough for basics. We've got four resin, and then we've got everything that's on my back, so just kind of random stuff. We, we basically put all of our compound in this. So my goal for this episode was to get into space at the end, and that is what we are going to do. This is the first time I've ever done it. I am excited. We're going into space. So we're gonna see what it's all about, and I think in the next one, we might just try to like visit all the planets. Oh, frames are dropping. So here we go. We can, I think. Oh, wow. So I think these bubbles are landing sites. Now, I think that, where's the moon? Maybe if I go up again, what does this mean? Oh shit. Oh my God. The solar system. All right, so here's where we are. Here's where we're uh, our base is on this planet. 
And then there's Baron. Ha! <laughs> Baron, that's me, but spelled differently. No, Baron indicates to me that this is probably not the best place to hang out. But I, I don't see us... I can't click on some of these other planets. So in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be landing on another planet. I'm actually going to try to hit all six. <gasps> Look at that. We can hit exotic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next episode.